Um, I'll play the margarita breakdown now, and uh, as I said, it employs the use of the tuners in the B part. We'll play it up to speed once. into the rest of the break. But that's the basic tune. And uh, as you can see, the tuners, um, it's, it's almost a backwards way of using the tuners compared to the way Scruggs used them in, uh, in say, Flint Hill Special. Uh, just the timing of it. It's not backwards the way they're used. It's the timing of it. Uh, so let's play the tune slowly so you can hear it. And then we'll just sort of walk through it, uh, the tune, as you will have it in the tablature. I trail into that next segment is so that you can play along with the recording if you like or know how to get out of the break and into your backup for the next person so those very last sections of uh, the break is you sliding into the G chord position to play behind the next person so now you've heard it up to speed and we've played it slowly now I will just uh, talk about the chords. I mean, you'll have the tab, so we won't go through it real meticulously. But uh, the chords are a little different. We start out in the beginning in G, of course. Then we're going to B, so that's the fourth fret. To C, C minor, which means you just lower that fifth fret two down to the fourth fret two. To G, to F, to D. Back to G, to B, to C, C minor, G, D, G, C, D, A. Now, the, the tuner part is D, of course, when you bring the tuner down, and then when the tuners come back up, you're going back up to G. And back down with the tuners back up to G, and so on. So now, we'll go through the tab and just highlight the, the parts where maybe the right hand, more so than the left hand fingering, is a little tricky on this. So if we start with our classic Scru Scruggs intro. Now, I'm just grabbing the B, and this is a common thing when we're playing uh, particularly faster tunes. Um, you, and if you're doing some sort of roll pattern across the strings, you don't really have to t pick your fingers up and bar. If you just kind of cram your fingers in there, you can keep the uh, ring finger on the first string, for example, as a pivot point and kind of move up and down and around where you need to. So that, uh, that is much easier to do than grabbing the bar and moving, for example, when you have to go from the C to the C minor, that's another complete movement of your hand, whereas if you come here for the B and just put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the first string and your second finger on the fourth fret of the second string. And then you can move right up to the C and right down to the C minor. So that's a little trick for the faster tunes. On the right hand, 
We've got two in with the index middle and then the thumb, a Scruggs trick here where the thumb comes over the second string. And then up to the fifth fret. And then just drop down for the C minor. So all of that was all two, one, two, and it was index, middle, thumb, mingle, middle. And here we go with our pull off. And here we go again. With the tuner, we tune down and in time, remember, again, it's the beat by itself. There I pinched one and two when I did that. And now pinch one and three. I play that a, just a tad out of time with the tuners so you can hear the effect of bringing the tuners up and down. And that's just something to practice with over time. The, the, the way that you roll the tuner is uh, it won't take you much time to, uh, to uh, perfect that. Just have to get the feel for the timing of the tune. So that's our basic form and uh, that's our, our basic tune using the tuners, the Margarita Breakdown. Now we'll just put some closure on the tune and I'll play through the, the last B part and put the pre-ending and ending on that, uh, that was on the recording and I'll just show you a little bit of what that is and the B part and pre-ending and ending are as follows. Okay, uh, what I did was the, it's a, just a standard pre-ending, any pre-ending would work. But I went from G to C to D to G. And I used it all in the first two strings with the fifth string. It would be the G, a D position C, D position D, and up to there. And that's the ending to Margarita Breakdown. That'll be illustrated in the tablature as well with the tune.